You are about to you are about to GG's world. Hello and welcome back to the GG Naturals Homestead channel. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how I go about trimming up my citrus trees. This is my Ponderosa lemon and it needs some work done to it. So I'm gonna do some pruning to it, uh, trim off some leaves and give way for new life for this plant. And let's go ahead and trim up a couple of the other citrus trees while we're at it. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right into this video. Anytime that you decide that you're going to prune a plant, you want to be sure to start out with clean shears. Whatever shears you're using, make sure that they are clean and sanitary and that you're not going to be transmitting, particularly with citrus, because there are so many diseases that affect the citrus plant. So these leaves have been damaged by crickets. Messing up my plant so bad. And what I want to do is just take a bunch of those leaves off and allow for new production here on this plant. And so I'm going to start with the leaves and make sure that you're always, you know, checking your citrus to make sure that it's looking nice and healthy. So check your leaves, make sure that your color is good and make sure that you're not seeing any bugs of any type attacking your plant. And see when the leaves look like that, they look like, and look up under the bottom, there's something going on there. Um, there's some sort of nutrient that it needs. So I'm definitely going to feed this this evening. So make sure I'm spraying some neem oil on the tree as well to kill off anything that may be attacking my plant. And here is a classic example right here. You see it's calling, causing, you see there, there's a spider in there that is causing a curling of this leaf. And so you want to definitely take that and you want to do away with those as soon as possible. Um, don't leave them to decay on your plant. You definitely want to get rid of those. Okay, and so the big problem with this plant is that it died back very hard over the winter. And so I wanna take all of those branches. I want to go ahead and clip them off. And you have to be really careful with these because they have lots of thorns on them. Okay. Okay, and that's looking better already. So all that I need to do now is to Spray it down with some neem oil to kill anything else that is lurking around my tree. And this one is my Satsuma. I'm having a similar issue with the Satsuma. And so I decided that I was going to go ahead and take off the fruit that was on there and I did. And I'm now just going ahead and trimming up the leaves that have gone through uh, the pest damage. Spraying the soap and water solution has worked wonders. And as you can probably see right there, there's a lot of new growth that is happening on this Satsuma just within the last week when I showed you guys uh, the other video of 
transplanting the satsuma. So I just wanna take this and I'm gonna trim it up good. I'm gonna trim it up good so, you know, don't feel bad for it. Um, she is thanking me for giving her a nice trim so that she can have new growth and new life and produce some great fruit for us next year. So. Look at that. And all this happened just within the last week that I showed you the plant. We just wanna help it out by getting rid of some of those leaves that may be harboring some of those eggs that could be potentially harming your plant. And also down here below the graft, I'm going to cut that off as well. Okay, this lime tree is overall looking really well. It's looking very, very healthy. Um, I only see a couple of leaves that have some damage on them. And it looks like that damage came from perhaps leaf miners. And so it's really important to make sure that you're spraying your trees on a regular basis. Uh, get that neem oil and get those trees, especially when they don't have any fruit on them, get, those ne get that neem oil and get those trees sprayed down on a regular basis so that your trees can stay nice and healthy. But anything that looks like it's been attacked by some sort of disease, you have uh, mealy bugs that will attack this as well. And that looks like on the back of this leaf that there are mealy bugs there. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and take that off and do away with that because I don't want anything bothering the future production of my tree. So the first thing that I'm gonna do to this kumquat is I'm gonna cut this huge sucker. You see this sucker here? That is just like out, that is just like growing, outshining everybody. I'm gonna cut that off. Remove that from the tree because it's taken a lot of nutrients from, you see the normal size of the new production. This is the normal size of the new production. And then here's the sucker. It's like two, three times larger than that. So I definitely wanted to take that off of there. Um, and there's another one that is down here, taking that off as well. Now this one is definitely going to give me fruit this year. And so I'm just taking, I'm not going to uh, prune any of the other branches that are going to help me get some fruit. I am just going to take anything that is hanging, anything that looks like a pest has gotten to it, I'm going to remove all of those leaves. And this one definitely has some leaf minor damage. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, let's see if we can get really close up on it. So, if that is focused, the leaf miner will, will burrow inside of the leaf and they will just leave like trails all over the leaf until they're done and then they will remove themselves out of the side of the plant. So you definitely want to get rid of that. You don't want any of that remaining on your plant. And you know, it's widely said that, well, it's only cosmetic, but they are definitely sucking nutrients out of your tree. So take that off and all of those little dead pieces that are almost dead, just hanging in there, go ahead and remove those from your tree as well so that your tree can really grow and just have a great production for you. And this one, it has been producing ever since we got it, the very, very first year that we got it, it produced and it has not stopped. And so here's another example of 
what it looks like when the leaf miners have gotten to your plant. You see the trails. Can you see the way that it just made trails around in there? I hope you guys can see that on video. And this one is my red navel orange. It is looking fantastic. You know, it's been recently treated. So there's really nothing to trim off of this one. Uh, it's just looking great and I am keeping it sprayed down so that we don't have any issue with transmitting anything to this one as well. So if this video was helpful to you, please take it and share it out to some other people that it may benefit greatly. And I'll talk to you guys on the next video.